Tonight, you're about to see some dramatic video of a new product being used in the war on terror. And believe it or not, it's a kind of paint used on pickup trucks. But John Deusman tells us it's gone from pickups to the Pentagon. Four, three, two, one. You're looking at some frightening video given to Fox 5 by a company called Linex. They're simulating what can happen to someone, in this case a dummy, if a bomb like a truck bomb went off near their office. The interesting part is this dummy obviously has some problems. This dummy, placed in an identical office next door, this one seems to make it through the blast just fine. What's the difference? Prior to the explosion, the wall that survives was sprayed with a substance called Paxcon. So we're going to test this stuff ourselves. This block, designated by the blue, is treated with this stuff. Three, two. But before we show you what happens, let's tell you what we learned about the company. Linex has some humble beginnings. Their products started out as a spray for the beds of pickup trucks to prevent dings and scratches. Linex is kind of a rubbery paint that is touted as stronger than steel. Get elastic so it can flex and take the brunt of an explosion. The company tells us the military tested their product about seven years ago and apparently liked what they saw. Then right after 9-11, the company got a contract to spray areas of the Pentagon and one building here in Manhattan. But for security reasons, no one will confirm where the building in New York City is. I know it works. Steve Decker went from owning a franchise that sprays pickup trucks to actually spraying parts of the Pentagon to make it safer. And you can't not help but be moved by that. And to know that what we're doing now has a potential to save lives there, it's very, very important to me. Steve tells us the company makes no assurance that the product will hold a building together when something happens, but they do believe it can dramatically cut down on injuries and deaths. This cuts down on the stuff that flies around, right? Right, definitely. In a, in a, in a typical bomb blast, 80% of the casualty comes from fragmentation of the building. And the whole idea, the whole concept behind the Paxcon product is to mitigate that fragmentation by containing it and increasing the exit time for the occupants of the building. In order to test the stuff ourselves, we bought some cement blocks in the city took them on a 564-mile round trip to this Linex building in Lexington Park, Maryland, near Virginia, and had them sprayed with a special anti-terror spray. For us, there's a blue dye in it. It can be any color or clear, but the blue will make it easier to tell which one is which for our test. Then it was up to the Bronx where our buddy Lorenzo De La Russo from Sal's Scrap Metal let us do the big test from his roof. First, the regular Three, cement block. Two, one. The untreated block is dead on impact. Now the treated one. Three, two. Nothing happens. One more time. Pow! One. Nothing. So it looks like this stuff works. The problem is it's a little expensive, anywhere between $25 and $50 a square foot. For example, to paint this rectangular area here right outside of Fox 5, you're talking anywhere between $2,200 and $4,500. The good news is you don't have to paint the whole building, just spots that are vulnerable to a bomb attack. I'm John Dutzman, Fox 5 News.